Grab your popcorn, kick back and relax because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, we actually have some we actually have a harder version of Paradox. Um and it's unboosted, you guys could see the stats there. This one was done by a task force member of mine that I'm in right now called Diesel27. Um he had a strategy on this that I was not expecting. Now the building health, I have actually checked out the barrages and artilleries. I think this shock launcher, although I'm not sure of its level, had a little over 30,000 health. Um, but just in case, um, just to be like 100% certain that you guys are getting all the information here, that statue has 126% building health. Now normally I don't tell you guys the ice because it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, you got you. You'll pretty much know that what the ice is when you face it yourself, because the layouts usually, the difficulty level it usually has the same amount of ice anyway. But because he's barraging stuff, I just wanted to give you guys that information. So he's dropping his tanks. You guys know um, pretty much everything at this point. He's just gonna flare straight up the top. Uh, so he dropped two barrages on the left one, I believe. Then those artilleries, and he dropped one barrage on the one on the far right there. And as he gets energy, he's going to take that out. Now, he, you can see he did waste time on the sniper. And having the 100%, like, thereabouts in GBE for his statues, really, really paid dividends for him on this attack. Because without it, he would not have been able to barrage all that stuff, so... I think that this is a pretty standard amount of ice for this difficulty level. Um, I apologize if it isn't, but I thought because this is a standard version of Paradox, I thought you guys might like to see this. Um, maybe one or two less boom cannons in the far right there, but uh, for the most part, I mean, this is pretty much what you see. That there is two rockets up the top here always, but usually the one in the middle is actually further to the right. Um, so he's got up to the top quite nicely and he is wasting a lot more time than what I would have thought he would have. So he's going to regroup up the top there, doesn't want to lose his tanks, needs to destroy these buildings quickly and I think he knows that. Uh, dropping a shock, bo shock bomb there not really sure if that that's purpose a great deal because those mortars wouldn't have done much to him anyway um, but he's getting some serious work done here he's destroying these mortars um, not sure why he's continuing to destroy all of these I know he destroyed some of them because he's he knows where his kill spot is and he doesn't want his medics to have to out, out heal mortars and rockets he only wanted them dealing with rockets but I think he took that a little bit too far because you'll if you guys look at how long the attack actually went for at the start of this video you'll probably see that this attack was actually pretty close to being a fail because he almost timed out I'm not sure the exact amount of time he had left um, he did have some time remaining I think it was like maybe 15 seconds or something so he still could have done some more work and he could have went for a lot longer if he had more time, but uh, because he wasted time at the front of the beach down here, that sort of wasted time. But for the most part, I mean, this was a great attack. Really, it really was. Um, kudos to him. I would not have barraged out those buildings. I would not have been ballsy enough to do that. Uh, but kudos to him. He did it. Congratulations. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this attack, by the way. Um... So, I'm, at this point, I have recorded videos for so many bases on Bottleneck. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. There's a couple more bases I want to cover. Low point, if it ever spawns in our operations, I'll definitely be trying that. I want to get a solo on it. I have seen it done before, I, but I lost the footage originally. It was one of the first ones I did. So, I want that. I also want tonnage. And I lost the footage for Residue, so I would like to do Residue again. Um, but those are the three bases I want to do now. Um, after that, I'm pretty much satisfied with the series. and I'm going to go on to some guides and uh, 
various things that I've got planned. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you thought down below. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see from this channel in the future, um, drop a comment and tell me what what you'd like what you'd like to see. Um, I can't make any promises. I I only promise stuff that I'm that I'll definitely do. But um, if you guys drop some suggestions, there's a pretty good chance that if it's possible for me to do it, I'll definitely do it at some stage. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the attack. And I'll see you guys in the next one.